Hi all, and thanks for taking a look at ProBuilder. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the collision system in ProBuilder. So let's take a look at just how we have this set up right now. Let's say you wanted to, you know, bring in your character, run around your level, and just test it out. So first of all, when you build your ProBuilder scene initially, what will happen if you drop in something, as in this case I just have the standard Unity FPS controller imported from their assets, if you hit play, the character will drop right through. And uh, that's simply because ProBuilder does not automatically create the the collision meshes on all of its boxes just to keep you from having sort of a, an efficiency nightmare. You wouldn't want to have that automatically. So when you are ready to add collision, simple process, just open up the ProBuilder window if it's not already, activate it, and then select any object that you want to give collision properties and click on Enable Collider. And as you'll see, it pops right up. This, of course, works just fine for even specially you know, shaped and modified objects like these. Just select them and click on Enable, and it shows up like so. And if you don't want to have to select everything one by one, you can just, with the ProBuilder active, so make sure it's active here, hit Control A, and ProBuilder will only select any other ProBuilder objects. So you'll notice the camera on the FPS controller, the light, etc. None of those are actually selected. Even though I hit Control A when you have this active, it will only select ProBuilder objects, which can be handy. So anyway, with all these selected, I'll just click Enable Collider, and now we have colliders for everything. You can always click Disable to turn that off as well. Let's keep those on and give this a quick look. So now we can run around in our scene just fine except for obviously a couple issues with collision, uh, with the rather chunky collision that we have automatically. And this is something you'll actually see a lot of times if people just build their own collision straight from meshes. Number one, it's a little bit inefficient. Number two, you obviously have this that uh, bouncy feeling as you go up the stairs. Sometimes you get stuck, things like that. So let's take a look at how we could fix that, make it better using uh, ProBuilder's collision system here. So back to this. So when you have something like these stairs and you want a nice smooth collision to just run right up it, it's usually best not to have each as their own collision of course. So let's just select all of these stairs objects. And disable that collider. And then I'm going to create a special collider just for the stairs. So let's actually bring back in Pro Grids and drop in a new box. And set this up to be collision. So I'm just going to build this out to be the collision for this stairway. Something like that will probably work just fine. Now obviously we don't want this to be seen in the game, so let's just go into the texture edit mode, select all the faces on this using Control A, and choose the collider material, and then hit apply material. So there we have it, collision, just like that. Also when you use the special collider material, it'll make sure and let ProBuilder know uh, or let ProBuilder know to let Unity know that it shouldn't light map these faces at all and a few other special things. So those set as a collider. Let's enable the collider on it. And you'll notice even after we built it, it already updated and it does whenever you're editing anything. So if we look at this, let's say we change this like so. As soon as you're done editing, it automatically updates the collision to fit exactly what you have. So, just one bit less work for you to do. So with that set up, let's move that around so we have an extra one for each of these. Something like that is good enough for now. And hit play. So now I can run right up it. Works great. Uh, obviously, 
uh, we kind of forgot the part to make that collision invisible. Don't want it to be seen at all. So going back to the scene view, all we have to do is toggle zones and they'll disappear. You can toggle that back on. It just basically hides and shows any special zones like triggers, collision, or occlusion. So one obvious problem with a scene like this, even though it would probably not be used in a real game, but let's just pretend it is. The obvious problem we have is that there are no boundaries. You can fall right off the edge. So a nice and easy thing you can do with a pro builder, uh, obviously, is just create some fake boundaries or invisible boundaries. Let's do that real quick. All we have to do, create some pro builder boxes and set them up just right. And I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. We're simply going to block in the level here. And just in case. So with that, all I'll do is go into, again, the Edit Texture Mode, select all the planes, and apply the collision to it. And enable those colliders. Okay, that'll help. And also toggle the zones off so we can't see them. Another situation that Pro Builder Custom Collision is very useful for is any kind of player clip. And this is where you have something in your level where some sort of geometry is sticking out like this, and if the player tries to run into it, they're going to get stuck. So just as a quick example, let's make sure we have colliders on these. And then if I play this, running forward, I'm going to get stuck right on that. And obviously this can really mess up your game and knock the fun level down quite a bit if players keep getting stuck on things. Especially in the case of a doorway or whatnot with this, which if your game is like most others, uh, you'll probably have lots of these. So you can use Pro Builder to very quickly set up some custom player kit uh, sorry, player clip collision. Let's just set up something simple right now. So very quickly, just to drop in collision that won't get players stuck. And it's usually uh, best when you're doing this to make it as nice smooth of a transition as you can. So if I even bring it all the way back to the end perhaps And then let's, of course, make that the collider material and toggle it off. Oops, also make sure to enable the collider on that, of course. So now, in play mode, if I run into this wall, I go right past it. Obviously, it's a little bit sticky still. The you know other thing you could do is to make sure that that has a frictionless physics material, but it's much, much better than simply getting stuck like that. So I just get pushed right around it. Very handy, and will make your players enjoy your game much, much more. One more use for the Pro Builder Custom Collision is if you have any kind of complex mesh object, you just want to create a quick collision around it and not have to either go back into the actual you know 3d max maya blender etc any program like that to create a whole new collision for it or maybe you don't have the program your artist didn't give you the collision whatever it might be a lot of times you'll just need to create some collision around a complex object and do that within unity so we can do this very quickly with pro builder just start lining things up and build around it however you'd want to. And of course you can make it as complex as you want or as simple. We'll just keep this pretty simple to see how it works. Maybe a little more there.
And let's get the collision material on it so we can see through a little better. Oops, there we go. Maybe build something around the tail. Just like such. And once again, obviously, you could do uh, a much better job than this if you felt like it, of course. But basically, there you have it. A uh, fairly complex object, just quickly with some collision setup around it so you don't have to go into another editing program, especially if you don't have that program or, you know, maybe you just don't have uh, the skills to use it if you haven't learned it up yet. This is a nice and very simple way to add collision to an object within Unity. Of course, don't forget, last thing, to enable colliders on those objects or it won't do much good at all. And there you have it. Basically, the major uses you might have for a Pro Builder Collision, obviously so much more you can do with it. So thanks for watching. See you in the next ones.